show off this uh i built this watch uh i don't know almost 400 builds ago actually i think it was a slightly over 400 builds ago but uh buddy ended up having uh watches stolen so we remade this watch so um this was back before i was putting videos up on youtube i was just sending them directly so um Pretty much identical, except I loomed it a different color than I loomed it before. Uh, but this is a full loom dial um, Poseidon build in a bead blasted case. Uh, also has bead blasted crown bezel and SS band. So um, did a nice, um, I don't know, I don't want to say they're polished, but just a shiny um, silver handset. I did a full loom on the dial and then went back in and filled the pips. And then I also loomed the bezel. Anchor engraved crown. If it wants to look at it. There it does. Anchor engraved crown. Low profile exhibition case back. Black rotor stainless steel movement holder. And then it's got... Um, it's just a bead blast finished all the way around it. Um, if you ever, it kind of has that rough kind of porous look to it, but you can take sandpaper and put lines in it or scotch bright. You can just go around and just put that like flow line in it up the side. It's kind of hard to do this side to get here and then pull it down, but you can do that. Uh, and then lastly, just threw a box talk logo on there and can see there, got a nice little iridescent look to it. And that's the build. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, get a light on it so you guys can see this. And the loom that I use is reactive to UV, regular light, and heat. So it turned out pretty good, right? We also did that with the beads. She also threw in some blue beads there. So uh, that's the build. As always, the bezels on these will turn left. They will turn right. I just put them on there a little extra tight, so it's a little tighter for you. Uh, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, you want to make sure you pre-wind it before you put it on. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking. At that point, you can wind. A wind is a turn back and forth. Actually, a wind is just a turn back. Um, or forth. It would be forth, right? <laughs> back does nothing, but it's a lot easier to wind it going back and forth. Um... If you do this for four or five seconds, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve that you got on it. You cannot overwind it. You can wind it all day if you want. And you will not hurt it. If and when you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. You'll notice you've got a wobble crown. It's going to deflect lateral pressure from going into the stem into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying on it, it's rotating. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 11.06 a.m. Mail runs at noon. So we got to make sure not only we get this video done up. We don't have to have it uploaded yet. But um, we just got to make sure that we get it all boxed up and fancy for you. But that is your build. There are your matching beads. I'm sure you still have a watch box for it. But I got to include a watch box to get it to you. So just grabbed. What, what were you focused on there, phone? Nothing? Poseidon box there for you, special edition box. As with every build, you get watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here is covered. And some fine scratch remover. This is Nobis 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like Poly Watch. If you ever scratch this glass, put a tiny bit on it, buff against it using your included microfiber, and you will buff out the scratch on the glass. Generate some heat with your thumb, and you'll knock it out quicker. Uh, but that is how you polish the glass. And that is your build, sir. Um, hopefully this one will last you uh, the rest of your life. <laughs>
and you don't get in that same predicament. But uh, I appreciate you wanting to not only get your watch back, but uh, um, asking me to make it for you again. So I, I appreciate it a ton, man. So uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.